What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how to make an electronic signature in Word. So let's take a look at how we can go about doing this. So what you're going to need to do is get your phone and write on a piece of paper your signature. And then what you can do is to take a photo of that signature so it's on your phone. And then all you need to do then is transfer uh, that image over to your computer. Now you can do that by just plugging your phone into your computer and then transferring it over. Open this up in photo and you can then go to edit to edit the photo. And then basically we can crop this down like so. And of course this will be your real signature. This is not my signature. This is just my name. And you would then go to save and save the cropped image into a folder called SIG or whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and save that in there. So what we want to do now is remove this background and we need to do that inside Word. So we're going to go to uh, Microsoft Word and open this up. So let me close all of this off. Okay, so let's open up Word and uh, we can then edit this image. So click on Word. This is Microsoft Office 2019. We can do this in other versions as well. I'm going to click on uh, select a blank document here. And once we've got this done, we need to go to insert and we're going to insert a picture. So click on here from this PC and you should see your newly created uh, signature here. So now we've got our signature inside our Word document. You can see we're in the format tab here. And what we need to do is remove the background for this signature. So we just have the signature itself. And you'll see on the left hand side under the format tab, there is remove background. We can click on this here and this will then allow us to remove the background and leave just the signature. And it does a pretty good job at removing that. So double click on here and you should see uh, the mark area to keep a mark area to remove. So we're going to remove the background and you can see it's only done the uh, R I A N and the B is not selected. So if I selected this, it would obviously look like this, which is something that we don't want. So go back and what we're going to do is mark the area to keep of course, and select the B and that little dot up the top there. So you can see it's selected this here. So make sure you select all of your signature and then click on the little dot for the eye, which I'm going to do here. And then we can keep these changes that we've got here. So anything in pink is going to be removed uh, from the document. So there we have our signature. So now we have the background removed. You can use this signature on any electronic signature document that you need to use a signature for. Now you can change the background color to whatever you like now. Now you've removed it and you can do that. Um, by using uh, the bucket tool here and change to whatever color you like, which is pretty straightforward and easy to do. Let me quickly show you uh, what that looks like so you can see. And all you need to do here is select the signature and then you can go over to the paint bucket tool here and you can select whatever color you like to change the background on there. If you needed to change the background, you would be able to do it. Now you can see there's a little bit of white on there still and we can fix that a little bit. So let me just show you what else you can do uh, with this signature as well to make it look a little bit more sharper. So what you need to do here is go to the format tab again and inside the format tab, you can see corrections here. If you look inside corrections, you can change the contrast and brightness, the sharpness as well, depending on what you're trying to do with your signature, you can see it changing. So if you wanna make it a bit darker, make it black, you can do that as well. You can change the actual uh, brightness of it as well, just to make it a little bit more uh, vibrant so you can see it there. So whatever you choose to do, if you want to leave it a little bit more natural, you can do. There's also the colors tab here, which allows you to change colors. So depending on whether you want to change colors, there's black and white here, which is 75% black and white. And you can make that a little bit darker if you wish. Um, but I prefer just the more natural look to it. But when you make that a little bit smaller, it does stand out a little bit more better. So it's entirely up to you, whatever one you want to uh, use there. But that's basically how you can change uh, the image. You can also resize it 
Now you can also right click on it and save as a picture. You want to give that signature a name so you can call it whatever you like. You can see it's been marked as a PNG, which means it's got a transparent background here. I'm just going to call it SIG and uh, save it into the required folder that I need. So I can always get access to this signature. And we don't need to save the document now. We've done what we need to do. And literally whenever you want to use that signature, you can use it in a document. So here is our signature here. And this is the original. So the original looks something like this. Obviously, we had to remove the background. And now we have it looking something like this. So depending on what you want to do with yours, it will look something like that. So, okay, so now we've got this. Let me just quickly show you how it looks inside a, a letter template here so you can get a general idea of what it looks like inside the document. So this is just a normal template, uh, a letter template here. And I'm just going to add it inside your name here near where it says uh, sincerely. And you can add in your image so let me go over to insert click on a picture from this device and select your signature now we have our signature we can resize that to whatever size you want and there you go it looks something like this and you can see that's what your signature is going to look like uh, when it's on a document and it looks a really good professional look so if you're looking to uh, get your signature added to documents then this is how you can create a professional signature like this and you can add this to any document that you like and this means that if you are a person that's really busy and you don't want to keep pestering the person to sign documents you could use something like this and this will be an ideal electronic signature for that document so pretty nice little nifty way of doing that anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video so that's basically how you can create your own uh, electronic signature uh, for microsoft word pretty nifty little trick so i hope this one helped you out i just want to say a big special thanks to all the youtube members who have joined my youtube members group your names are rolling up on the screen i really do appreciate the support my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now